Hello everyone, this is a quick tip about IPython and it's about load balancing. So IPython has um, an infrastructure to do uh, parallel computing. Um, this um, architecture consists of uh, four components. The engines, which are the actual interpreters uh, doing um, the work. Uh, client, which is your software um, requesting um, uh, execution in uh, engines. Schedulers uh, to um, facilitate um, the communication. And finally, hub to um, manage everything and make sure uh, everything is uh, registered in a single place. Um, you need uh, two uh, dependencies um, to um, run that. You need 0MQ. Uh, visit their website on 0MQ.org. Uh, to install it on uh, uh, Ubuntu, this is the command. Install uh, libzmqdev. Uh, and um, install uh, py um, zmq. Um, uh, easy install py zmq. Um, and you need the py uh, zmq. Um, you can install that separately using um, pip install uh, py zmq. Um, parallel and distributed uh, computing. Parallel computing is um, multiple processors or cores to distribute the work on a single machine. So you're distributing your work on multiple cores on a single machine. Uh, distributed computing, um, distributing work on multiple processor or cores located on multiple machines. That will distribute your work on several machines actually. Um, load um, balancing. Uh, uh, this is w this will be our first approach to parallel and distributed computing. So uh, the first step is to start uh, the engines. Uh, from your uh, I, um, Python uh, notebook, go to the last tab, uh, clusters, and start um, one of your profiles. And here I will be starting in B server. Uh, if you have only default, you can enable that if you want. Um, it tells you the number of engines that it started and uh, because I have 12 cores in this uh, machine I'm getting 12 engines um, you can uh, definitely uh, change that um, so the first thing I will be importing a client um, then I will be um, creating a new view it's a load uh, balanced view from uh, that client um, when I'm uh, creating an instance of a client, I I'm passing the profile name. Uh, you can, if you're using default, make sure you pass uh, default. Um, then I'm uh, defining my uh, load balanced uh, view uh, and storing it in LB view. Um, the profile name is MB uh, server and um, I have 12 engines within my um, load uh, balanced view. Um, in here, I will um, be demonstrating a small process without uh, load balancing. So I have a function in here. It does some calculations and returns a result. Um, so uh, if I um, define this function and I actually measure the time it takes to uh, do this process. Um, I can notice that it's taking a considerable amount of time to do this. Um, it will take around uh, 20 seconds to finish that. Uh, during that time, uh, I want to show you something in here. You can notice the, um, that there is one core that was um, going throughout the 20 plus seconds and so my computer was utilizing only one core during this process and it took uh, 24.5 um, seconds to uh, perform this. Um, now I'll be um, explaining how to use uh, um, load balancing to um, make this process much, much faster. Uh, so um, I will uh, be um, defining the same function again. There is. Um, no need actually to do that, but uh, just to uh, clarify the process. Then I will be um, timing this, and I'm using the uh, view 
then I'm um, the load balancing view dot map. Uh, this function um, maps uh, multiple um, parameters to a function. So my function if my parameters are a list of um, zero uh, of uh, one thousand numbers from zero, and uh, block equals true. This makes sure that the process is uh, done before. Um, um, it blocks this line until all processes are done and the results are in my uh, result uh, variable uh, and you can notice now it's uh, doing that if I look again in here you will notice all my cores all my 12 cores were on 100 then they dropped and it did that much much faster it did that actually in uh, only 5.9 seconds um, the second way to um, uh, do uh, load balancing is uh, with the um, uh, function decorator, parallel function decorator. Um, in here, I'm defining my function again using this uh, decorator and block um, equals true. Um, and um, 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 using um, the function, my function dot map and passing the parameters I want that I want to um, uh, that I want my function to um, process basically uh, and it uh, it's returning the results in this uh, variable because I'm using block equals true so it's blocking this line until all processes are done uh, so I can see that I have uh, results equals to 1000 um, there is a, another way to do this with asynchronous processing. So uh, this is blocking the line. So this is synchronous. Uh, you don't go to the next line until this is done. But sometimes you have processes that takes hours or days. So you don't want your development environment freeze for hours or days. So the way to do that is um, you use uh, block equals false. Um, and I'm just defining the same function in here with block equals false. And then I'm using my function that uh, map and passing um, the same uh, 1000 uh, values to process. Um, and you can see that it returned a um, um, an asynchronous map uh, result uh, object. And this object has all the um, results within a variable named result inside it. And we can check that we have 1000 values. Um, this uh, um, tutorial or short tip is available open source on GitHub and viewable on um, uh, MB Viewer. The link to this uh, is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope if you like this you will subscribe to this channel to see more of this and uh, you might enjoy uh, my series about uh, machine learning or my other series about IPython notebook. Thank you.